Kia ora team and welcome to our um, first video on Achievement Standard 91502 where we are going to examine a current physical activity event, trend or issue and its impact on New Zealand society. Learning outcome for today is to understand the requirements of Achievement Standard 91502 and to explain, describe and be able to use the first of three critical analysis tools or processes that we're going to be looking at uh, at the start of this unit. Understanding the standard. It's worth four credits and it requires you to research an issue in depth, investigating various areas of knowledge relating to the issue. You need to use research, literature and examples to justify your position and apply critical thinking tools. The issue that we'll be focusing on in the standard is a particularly emotive topic in New Zealand due to a recent number of high profile incidents in the media, and that's violence in sport. Before we look at the first tool that we uh, are going to use or, or consider, we need to understand what the critical thinking process refers to. So the New Zealand curriculum defines critical thinking as examining, questioning, evaluating and challenging taken for granted assumptions about issues and practices. Critical thinking is one of the most important skills you can learn. It's a set of tools used to consider the ideas presented by other people and to present your own ideas in a clear and judicious way. Critical thinking requires you to not only understand what you are reading, but also to be able to interpret any evidence or writing and decide whether the message is valid or not, whether the evidence and discussion are given towards the message, and how the message fits into the broader context. Now, Cottrell in 2005 describes critical thinking as the ability to read between the lines, both when reading the work of others and when writing your own work. This includes but isn't limited to finding potential flaws in an argument. So critical thinking is used to construct an argument or take a particular stand on a question or issue that you can use to build a well-reasoned and well-supported discussion on. Moving on to the first um, model that we're going to look at, and that's a process of critical analysis. So Aaron Mead in 2013 identifies this process of critical analysis. This model allows you to follow a process of four stages to assist you while you engage in the process of critical thinking. The four stages are knowledge and assumptions, perspectives, identifying big picture themes and issues, and then reflection and action. Let's have a closer look at this first uh, model. Knowledge and assumptions. So this stage of the process allows you to consider the evidence you have, what knowledge this evidence provides, and gives you an opportunity to start thinking about the assumptions that can be gleaned from the knowledge that you've obtained. Considerations include current knowledge about the issue and how it was obtained, what evidence is there to support or refute the issue, can you compare assumptions with accepted or reputable sources of knowledge, and how have assumptions and stereotypes been socially constructed. Perspectives. Stage 2 involves you looking at a wide reaching range of perspectives. The use of speech factors ensures that you have taken a good look at different viewpoints to allow you to form a strong understanding of all the different areas, relationships and vested interests in the issue. Consider different perspectives about the issue, who or what has influenced ideas about the issue. These speech factors should be second nature to you by now, but if not, ensure you explore a range of perspectives by considering things such as societal, political, economic, environmental, ethical, cultural and historical factors about the issue. Identify big picture themes. So these are the really big picture themes that we've been trying to explore in everything we do in Level 3 PE. This is where you try to um, identify some of those themes, themes and describe the meaning of them and how they relate to the issue. So consider things like hegemony, scientism, technocentricity, commodification of the body, business of sport, globalisation of sport, social construction of sport, the role of media, and gender and stereotypes. Finally, reflection and action. Reflect on the inequalities identified throughout the process, then use the information that you've generated to take action or put a plan in place to address the required change. 
consider who is advantaged and why. Who is disadvantaged, how and why. Now what are we going to do? What needs to change and how are we going to change it? So these four steps really highlight a simple but clear approach to critical thinking. One that is easy to remember and ensures that a range of key considerations are covered. To summarise, we introduced uh, the new achievement standard. We looked at the critical thinking process, which was identified by Aaron Mead. Um, and then we looked at those four steps in that model or that process. And they were knowledge and assumptions, perspectives, identifying big picture themes, and reflection and action. Please complete your WISC sheet. Make sure you, uh, you generate or you come up with a good um, question that we can um, consider as a class. And in the next theory lesson, we'll look at um, implementing this process or this model uh, over a key issue that we might look at relating to violence in sport. Cheers.